It's all about rewriting history. They do it all the time. I have, I don't know, I don't know if I'm ever going to release this material, but I have, I have a folder here full of every citation I've ever been able to find from ancient records, starting with the Greeks, then the Romans, talking about this certain race of people and how they have, how, how they have completely manipulated the economies of every country they have ever come in contact with. The Romans couldn't stand and burn their city to the ground twice. Kicked them all out. Europeans opened their gates. Europeans opened their gates to these people because they were convinced they were the children of God because they had rewritten the ancient Israelite text and created the Jewish Bible. So Europeans, knowing that the Romans had kicked them out, opened their gates. And what did they get for it in return? Read the histories of Charles Martel. You'll find out what they got in return. Christians went to sleep at night while these people woke up at 2 in the morning and opened all the city gates all across Europe to, to let the Muslim Moors and Saracens and, and uh, the Muslims of the Middle East to come completely take over their cities, uh, uh, sell all their, their children as, as slaves, uh, turn them into indentured servants, servants. Yeah, most people don't know that Caucasian Europe were slaves to Muslims for over 400 years. Yeah, most people don't know that because Caucasians, Caucasians are very prideful people, just like Hispanics are prideful people, just like Chinese are prideful people. And we don't want to admit that these things happened in the past, but they did. Half of Europe were slaves to, to, to Islamic caliphates. And it's all because a whole another group of people pretending to be the children of God had opened up the city gates and uh, turn treachery to the very host that had taken them in and let them have homes among them. Yeah, that's, I don't even want to get into those details. I have, I literally have a thousand pages of notes on that entire history. I don't know what venue I could ever publish that on. They're going to shut me down. They're going to shut me up. These people, are, these people have billions of dollars at their disposal, and they can shut down anyone. Yeah, and if they can't, they just kill you. Says so I don't know if I'm ever going to publish that. If I do it, it's going to be in secret, and it's going to be because somebody funds it. But I can't waste time right now in putting all that together when I need to put Chronicon. I need I need to put all my Chronicon notes. That's priority one. This other one, I wish I could reveal it to all. People are not going to believe why the world is the way it is today until they see this material. I'm talking about, I have direct quotes from Benjamin Franklin about these people, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Paine, actual quotes Actual quotes from the congressional records, congressional annals about these people, things that, that, that J.F. Kennedy said in private to people, man, you are not going to believe these people have been doing this to us for millennia. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, and then when they rewrote the histories, they demonized the Romans and the imperialists. Yeah, the Romans were bad. The Romans did this. They, they fucked over these people. They did all this. Yeah, well... The histories that you're reading went through the publishers that were owned by these people. 